Hello, this is Faye Heidi, your Lent Solar Systems customer service representative. Today we'll be taking a dovetail and attaching it to the LS60 pressure tune and putting it on a mount. Here we have the LS60 THA PT telescope with the B1200 blocking filter. When you're doing this, you'll want to make sure to work on a flat, secure surface to ensure your telescope doesn't take a tumble and suffer any damage. Okay, now we'll start by flipping the LS60 over gently. For this demonstration, I've already positioned our clamshell in accordance to the mount that we'll be using. Okay, let's get started. Here we have a 4-inch Vixen style dovetail and some quarter 20 screws. The type of dovetail you use will depend on the mount you're using. There are many types of mounts out there, so it's very likely that you'll use a different style dovetail. Luckily, our clamshell is able to accommodate those styles. Now we're using a hex head screwdriver to attach these dovetail screws onto our LS60. Okay, now once it's attached, you will want to make sure it's nice and secure. You might want to give it an extra little quarter turn there, just to ensure that it won't become loosened when you're actually putting it on your mount. Okay, today we're using the Voyager by Astrotech. Now there's many mounts out there. When you're selecting a mount, you'll want to take into account the weight of the telescope. In this case, it's about 7 pounds. You'll also want to think about your eyepieces or if you're using a heavy camera. Okay, now let's put the LS60 on a mount. Make sure it's nice and secure to avoid any damage. And now you're ready to put it into position for use. Okay, now that you have your LS60 securely positioned on your mount, you'll want to start by removing the lens cap. Now you can reset your pressure, which we mentioned in our first video. Again, you'll do this by removing the black cylinder off of the brass piston. Now you're ready to reset. You'll want to do this when you're actually looking through your telescope so that you can find your tuning point. As you twist the pressure tuner while you're looking through, you'll notice an area where all your detail comes in. That's how you'll know you're in the right spot. These were the basics of mounting your LS60 THA telescope. Stay tuned for more of these videos. Thanks for watching.